So in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make a start button for Windows 7. I'm going to skip on how to make the button itself or icon because there are a load of tutorials out there already. So you can go and find them yourself and do it. So what we're going to do first off is we're just going to open a new document. And what we're going to do is just put the width to around 54 and the height to 163. Next one you make sure that the resolution is 92 and the background contents are transparent then click OK. If you feel that it's too small what you can do is just go to edit or image and then image size. Do it to 256 and click OK and that's a decent size. So now just fill the background with black after making sure that you got the default colors and now we'll load our images into Photoshop that we've already made and into our new document. So when that's done what we need is a template to make sure that everything's okay and we have the buttons where we need them. Uh, you can look back into one of my videos on how to customize your Windows 7 startup to get a template or you can extract it using other methods from explorer.exe. I'm just going to drop and drag a template of the actual Windows 7 orb into Photoshop. So after that's done what we need to do is just resize it a little to match our actual document size to match things up better. And when that's done we just need to drop the opacity down of that layer to around 50% so we can see our icons behind it. And now we can just nudge them into place while we need. For example this one here is for the normal start button. This one here is for when it's pressed and then the middle one is for when we hover our mouse over the start button. So now that's finished what we can do is just make sure that everything's matching up and move it around to what we think's best. And after that's done, what we just need to do is get rid of the template layer. So next, select all the layers and merge them together using Ctrl and E on the keyboard. Then after that, what you'll need to do is to right click on the thumbnail for the buttons. And go to select pixel. And you'll see marching ants. Then click on the channels tab and select a new channel. This will be alpha 1. After that you'll need to fill in the marching annex with white and then select all of the alpha channels. And you'll see this. From there you'll just need to save it. Select bitmap from the drop down and select save it to and save it to anywhere you want. When this pops up, select Flip row order and then click on advanced modes. Select 32 bit A8, R8, G8, B8, and then click OK. And that's your orb done. Now you just need to go back to one of my videos on how to use it Windows 7 customize your start orb. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.